the explanation of languages. Now, it's a very, very long, long, drawn out story if I was to tell you how languages were designed. But basically, the first language was made of more like, I mean, the first language was the vibrations. The second time there was an actual language written was somebody who took those vibrations and wanted to make sim symbols and sounds that people wouldn't know. And then, you know, be between, I mean, I know this sounds weird, but the grunts and stuff that we, that we hear of that cavemen and Neanderthals did, they did do that. But one of them believed that they could communicate through it, and they started communicating through it. And then, because some people couldn't catch on, they started making sounds and syllables. And then they, you know, they didn't end up making the language, but the first language that was made by whatever race it is, because I, Dan Alexander, don't know what that race is by looking at it. But either way, they started making languages. And from that point on, every time somebody made a language, that's why sometimes we're like, in the English form or the, or the American English form or the Spanish form, it's from the Latin root word of blah, blah, blah. Because every time somebody has gotten into the creative mode, writing their language out, I mean, at first it starts off a little weird, they start having a hard time with words, but then their creativity comes in, which is the God inside of them, and basically, like the word space, the way, the, the way God made the word space, it's, he got into the first person's mind that had a broad enough mind to imagine different eth ethnic groups. Like the word space and the different, and different ethnic groups showed up way different times in our experience as humans. But they were made at the same time in the, in the same vision that God had at that time during the person making the first language. And what he did was... He imagined that there was different people making different sounds, and the different sounds made them look differently, and then making them look differently is why you can tell a black person on the phone, like, yeah, what's up, my own sound, and a lot of times you can't tell, oh, you sound black, because we have a, a sound to our ethnicity, because God knew that those different sounds and syllables would only make sense if they came from different looking people. So that's why language and race were made at the same time. And the way that they came up with the words was because God would use the brain of the person trying to write the language. And somehow, even though it sounds crazy to us how there's so many words in the English language, how could they come up with them? Well, when they started writing the, the whatever language they were doing, they started thinking and thinking and using their constructive brain, which that time was God. And there was no interference of words that weren't words. So they couldn't have any interference with somebody saying, oh, that doesn't sound right, because everything sounded right. So they just made whatever words they wanted, sounding however they wanted, with the help of God to have them have structure, who would go into the future and come back and write it down, and go into the future and come back, just in the blink of an eye. You could come up with all the words of a, of a, of a language just as fast as you can write them down or somehow remember, remember them. That's how languages were formed. And then each one you go to in every different language, say the person, you know, that's why they say, you know, the way he came up with the English version of space, if he got into the first person who was trying to write English, went into a conversation into their future, in the way into the future, and heard, like maybe watch TV and heard space, the final frontier. And that, I mean, that's not what he heard space from, that, that exact thing, but he heard the word space from going into the future and experiencing in a person who speaks English. And he knew what they meant by space. So he went back to the person creating the language and just wrote it down as if they had wrote it. Because they did. They wrote the language because God wrote the language through them. And everyone who speaks the language is a spiritual product of the person who wrote your language. You are a great, 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 great grandchild of the man who wrote American English. Isn't that weird? I know it sounds weird, but that's the story of language and how they happened. Does the Bible tell you about language? No. Does the, I mean, maybe it does. I haven't read the whole Bible, so I don't know. But now I know for, for sure in my heart and soul how races and languages were formed. I mean, if that doesn't make more sense than whatever way you've heard it, I'm sorry. But it is the way it happened. That's why it makes more sense. If you don't want to make more sense of it, that's because you don't want to believe what you don't that you haven't been told from somebody that you know and trust because you trust your God. If you're a Christian, you trust the Christian God. If you're a Catholic, you trust the Catholic God. But I'm sorry, you were lied to in the name of your God by somebody who thought they were doing you well. Just like your mom and dad tell you you got to work your ass off to make it big. And eventually somebody believed in their heart that you don't have to work your ass off to make it big. You can get lucky. 
And it isn't that you get lucky. God made it seem lucky because he did it fast with the first few people. But then as it started getting learned, it slowed down. And there was like really rich people and everyone else was broke. And then it started spreading out. And then it started slowing back down because of the economy and taxes and laws, which are nothing but harming us. Taxes, laws, government, all those things are doing nothing but harming us. Once you cause some kind of group, once you cause some kind of rule or regulation that God didn't specifically make himself, then you are harming everyone involved underneath that umbrella of whatever it is. That system of government, that idea of a group, that government, that community. I am a, 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 a member of the universal community. I am not white. I am not an American. I'm not Dan Alexander. I'm not you know, a, a member of my personal family. I am not biased to any tree or plant. I am all those. And I understand that. But at the same time, I am all those things. I am also Dan Alexander. And I am also a member of my family who I love very much. And I am also all those things because that's the role God assigned me. And he assigned me a role this time with this spirit that I chose to forget where I came from when I took this body of this child that was born from my parents with its ray of light, its spirit. That's what you want to call it, spirit. You know, a sun sprite, whatever you want to call it. It's a spirit. But anyway, that's the truth, man. It's pretty crazy and it's, it's pretty wild that I never knew this before. But now that it all has come to me, it seems like, yeah, thank you for letting me know, God. I can't believe I didn't know that. But then as he's telling me, it's like, well, of course you know that, I, you, that you know that that's real because I'm telling you and you're listening to me and I'm me. Of course you're understanding what I'm saying. And I can tell because of his frequency that God isn't, that isn't a, a, a evil spirit trying to appear as God because I've felt every evil spirit as well. And I've talked with them. I've been exercised. I've been, you know, in every imaginary uh, paranormal plane that you could imagine, I've been exercised. I've been in a body that got mutilated, mutilated and chopped up. I've been every scene of every movie that you could think of, and then some. I've been every gory depiction of some old 1800 uh, newspaper article talking about a haunting. I was the word of every newspaper. I was the ink that the newspaper or the newspaper was written with. I was the tree the newspaper came from, and I was all the people involved in the writing and the creating of every movie. I was all the people and all the clothing they were wearing involved in every seance and every curse and every idea of enchantment, everything. I'm all of those things and I've experienced them all. And I have shared them with you through movies and through experiences that other forms of me have put down for you to observe so that the me inside of you can remember who I am.